fractional age assumptions. When we look at the illustrative life tables, x are always integers. When you calculate the tpx, tqx previously, t are also integers. What if you are interested to know if the value is in between the integers? For example, what if you are interested to know what is the value for 0 0.5 p 40? Or maybe 0 0.3 q 60? How are you going to find this? You cannot find directly from the life tables. However, there are few assumptions that you can make to find the value. There are two main assumptions. The first one is uniform distributions of death or commonly known as UDD and the next assumption is constant force of mortality. We are going to go through uniform distributions of death first. Under UDD, you are assuming that death in between the integers are uniformly distributed. Bear in mind, for both assumptions, you are only interested in in between the integers. It cannot cross the integers. Okay, so for example, for this case, maybe you are interested in between x and x plus 1. Somewhere in between here, x plus r. The only interval that you are interested is here or here. Okay, so your r is in between 0 and 1. UDD assumption says that r qx is equal to r times qx. So whenever you know the value of qx, then you can always times with the proportions of the intervals that you are looking at. I'll give you examples. In these examples, we are going to find 2.5 Q60.5. There are many approach to find this one. However, I will teach you how to look into these questions by using P. Okay, we can write this one equals to 1 minus 2.5 P 60.5. This is because P you can always easily times the probability. Let's illustrate that into timeline. So you will have 60 here, 61, 62, and 63. You are interested from 60.5, somewhere in between here. So these are the parts that you are interested in. How to find this one? 2.5 B. 60.5 these are always this part make up from this one times this one so you can say that 0 0.5 p 60 times with 2.5 p 60.5 equals to 3p60. To get this probability is this probability times with this probability. So 2.5p60.5 is 3p60 divided by 0.5p60. Three P sixty you can find from life table L sixty three divided by L sixty and this one you cannot directly get it from life table. 
you have to change that into Q first divided by 1 minus 0 0.5 Q60 so Q60 you can find it directly from F table so you get the answers once you get the answers this value you can bring back and sub back into here and you can find what is the final value let's continue with the second assumption which is constant force of mortality under the constant force of mortality integrations from 0 to 1 mu x plus s ds equals to mu we are saying that this mu does not change with time so the mu here does not change with time so whenever you integrate you will have mu times something for example if you are looking at 0 to 0 0.5 mu x plus s ds then you will get 0 0.5 mu from previous chapters we know that t p x is equal to e negative integrations from 0 to t mu x plus s ds if mu is constant then you will get e negative 0 to t mu ds if you have t equals to 1 thus you will have px equals to e negative 0 to 1 mu ds which is also equals to e negative mu for example if you want to find 0 0.2 px then you will have e negative mu 0 0.2 where this one is equals to px to the power of 0 0.2 because this part is px let's look at example We use the same example as above. In the above examples, we are looking at 2.5 Q60.5, which is equal to 1 minus 2.5 P60.5. Timeline here shows that this is 60, 61, 62, 63 here is 60.5 you can separate it into this one and this one to get the whole thing okay so 2.5 p 60.5 is equals to 0 0.5 p 60.5 times with 2 p 61 this 2p61 you can easily find in uh, from the left table and this one is equals to this part p60 to the power of 0 0.5 p60 you can find from the left table to Q or you can find it through L let's say if I want to find it through L it will be L 61 over L 60 this is to the power of 0 0.5 this part will be L 63 over L 61 okay then you can find what is the answer that's it for today's video we'll continue in the next video thank you